Hi, I'm Chris Anderson from Science Over Everything, and it's a beautiful fall day in Ohio. The leaves have changed color from green to yellow and oranges, and even red and purples. But why do leaves change color? Let's find out. Deciduous trees, like the ones behind me here, use their leaves to capture the sun's energy through a process called photosynthesis. Their leaves are broad and thin, and they live in temperate zones, places that experience all four seasons, summer, winter, fall, and spring. Each spring, these trees sprout new leaves to absorb the sun's light during the long days of summer. But as the days get shorter and cooler in the fall, it's a cue to these trees to lose their leaves. That's because keeping those thin leaves would cause the trees to lose a lot of heat and water. Winterizing these broad, thin leaves would cost a lot of energy. So instead, the trees just let them drop to the ground. But that doesn't explain why the leaves change their color. You see, the trees go through a lot of trouble extracting nutrients from the ground each spring in order to create their leaves. Letting these leaves fall without recycling those nutrients would be really wasteful. So to solve this problem, the nutrients are extracted from the leaves and stored in the twigs and the branches. The problem is, doing this can be tricky. Chlorophyll, the pigment which absorbs the sun's light, is still active. That energy gets passed on to oxygen molecules, which can become reactive and cause damage to parts of the leaf that are harvesting those precious nutrients. To solve this problem, trees break down the green chlorophyll so the molecules are transparent and they don't absorb any light. This allows the other pigments, usually oranges and yellows, to be seen. Some trees, like this one here, go through an extra step to protect themselves. As the nutrient recycling process starts, they produce extra pigments to absorb the light and protect their chlorophyll, keeping those dangerous reactions from happening. Most of these pigments are red and purple. Here's an experiment that you can do at home that will show you the different pigments inside of leaves. Gather a bunch of different leaves of different colors. I've got some green ones, some yellow ones, and some red ones. Then take some scissors and cut them up into small pieces. The smaller the pieces you cut your leaves in, the more pigment will enter the solution. Then put each pile of cut up leaves into a different beaker or glass and add about 45 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol. Then mash up the alcohol and leaf pieces. I'm using a wooden spoon, but if you have a mortar and pestle, you can use that as well. Then set your beakers aside for at least 60 minutes. If you want to speed up the process, place your beakers in a tray with some hot water. After about an hour, strain the leaves out of the beakers. At this point, the alcohol will have a good amount of pigments in solution. Take some filter paper and place one end in the alcohol and the other end outside of the beaker. If you don't have filter paper, coffee filters will work, just cut them into strips. Let the filter paper set for a couple of hours. The filter paper helps separate the pigments mixed in the alcohol. As the alcohol moves up the filter paper, each pigment has different chemical properties, which will cause them to move with the alcohol at different rates. After a couple of hours, you can see the different pigments separated in bands on the paper. The green leaves have green pigments called chlorophylls, which is the main pigment for photosynthesis, but they also have yellow and orange pigments called xanophylls. When trees change their leaves in the fall, they take apart their chlorophyll. This leaves only yellow and orange xanophylls, which were always there in the first place, giving trees their fall colors. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, please subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us at Science Over ET. Make sure you check out our blog, scienceovereverything.com, so you can learn how current events in science are affecting your life.